So um, that's why I always, when I talk, talk, talk to people, they always tell, you know, I tell them about what my practice regimen is and how I used to play 200 bars a day in pocket. Cop. Just watch the screen. What's my next segment? <laughs> what <laughs> is your <laughs> like, Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, you know what I'm saying. I don't know if you know I'm a preacher. I mean, I am an elder, so I do stay in the spirit. <laughs> Ooh, you got me looking but, like Shannon Sharp over here. <laughs> I do <laughs> uh, But yeah, man, I was, I mean, after my first time in the studio, I mean, that was like, I, I started working hard on that. 200 bars every day of, of pocket plan. And whatever I wanted to work on, uh, whatever I worked on. So if I wanted to work on, you know, I, at first, I was just doing 200 bars of straight back beats. No sub, no no extra stuff on the stair drum. Making sure every downbeat on that snare drum is even. Making sure it's solid, making sure it's there. You know what I'm saying, and making sure that it's 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 that I I'm comfortable with playing times and that I, playing time solid time, and then I could do it no matter what the distraction is. So I don't care what the distraction is. If somebody plays a note that throws me off, or a fine woman walk past his booth, or you know what I'm saying, if a, a drop of water fall down on me, so whatever happens, I'm, that pocket does not move. <laughs> and then from there, you know what I'm saying, I do 200 bars of straight pocket, then I do 200 bars with my subdivisions in my left hand. You know what I'm saying? No, I do my two, two uh, my two hundred bars, adding something else on the kick drum, whatever. But I spent a lot of time doing that. I spent a lot of time doing that uh, because, and and like I said, you know, going in the studio, you know, my, those microphones they are truth tellers. So once I start listening at what um, what was coming back, the playback, I'm like, man. And hearing stories about Ricky Lawson, hearing stories about once I started studying even Terry Baker, um, you know, Michael Baker's another one. Uh, but guys that were here in Chicago, Teddy Campbell, um, 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 Felix Polar, Oscar, Oscar Seaton, man, those dudes, even Ray Beatty, Pastor Ray Beatty now, you know, those guys, man, they could go in the studio and they could lock grooves up. And I was just... I, again, after going to the studio my first time and hearing those guys, you know, Jeremy Haynes, I, I, I remember playing a, a Ricky Diller record or playing a song for Ricky Diller that maybe Donald Lawrence wrote. And I think Jeremy was on the, uh, Jeremy was maybe on the demo or maybe Donald had recorded it with somebody or something. And just hearing Don, uh, how, how Jeremy Haynes was getting through it. And he's playing with a loop, and I'm like, man, he's coming back on the one all the time. It's just, it was, um, it was incredible, man. So that, those are the things that I made me want to start practicing execution, uh, and make make me want to practice precision. And so those are the things I work on practicing. When I practice, I'm working on precision. I'm working on execution. I'm working on dynamics. You know what I'm saying? Um, mm -hmm. and and having those and, and being open and listening to other music, being open to other genres. You know, if you want to practice on your dynamics, you want to work on your touch, study some Will Kennedy, study some jazz music, get get into some Will Kennedy, man, get into some Tony Williams. I did not know this for a long time, and I've studied Will Kennedy for years, but Will Kennedy does not play a double stroke role. Never plays, never plays a double stroke role. He everything he plays is singles. Tony is and he got it from studying Tony Williams. So if you go and watch Will Kennedy, you see him play a buzz role, bro, all singles. Can you imagine that? And if you go think or go watch, a, listen to a Yellow Jacket song, and you hear the hear a buzz roll, and you realize he's playing singles and not doubles. Mm. 